Good morning, my peepers. Welcome to Shalene's Creativity Room. It is Tuesday, June 25th. What's going on today? Yep, June 25th. I didn't feel like doing a morning video, but I'm doing it anyways. I have no birthdays for the rest of the month. Um, yeah. So let's get started for today, and then I have some changes again. Yeah. Um, weather. Peanut. Right now it is 76, feels like 76. Today is a high of 82 and the low tonight of 67. Yeah. Partly cloudy skies this morning will become overcast during the afternoon. Um, doo -doo -doo. Humidity of 48%. Wind southwest at 10 to 20 miles per hour and sunset 8.54 p.m. Um, like I said, I um, had some changes. Okay, today's National Day, National Catfish Day. That is one of my favorite fish, catfish, bullhead. I don't know if they're the same thing. I think they are the same thing, maybe a little bit different. I don't know, but that's my favorite fish. Oh my gosh. Oh, my order's been shipped from Amazon. Now it's telling me I have a shipment total of 38.35, but um 90. I used my gift card. So when will it be here? Said shipped. Arrived at a carrier facility in Oklahoma City. Okay. Order info. See orders. Orders. I know it was. I paid zero dollars. So I got a new case for my phone. I got a new screen protector. And I got me some goo be gone for stickers in my planners because. I accidentally put it in my Mary Poppins bag upside down and it's all gone. Trying to get to my email. I had a bunch of junk ones come in. Let's see. National Day. I already told you that. Catfish Day. Okay. Today's a wisdom quote. Focus is the art of knowing what to ignore by James Clear. Word of the day, word, word, word of the day, word, 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 word of the day. Today's word is numismatic. Numismatic. Numismatic is an adjective relating to or consisting of coins, paper currency, and metals. Yeah. Okay, so this weekend. I'm going to do some more changes here. Um, yeah. This past weekend was the cross stitch weekend. We had a really good weekend. We had a good turnout. We had one or two finishes. And we had a designer that I had as a surprise for everybody. 
and that was Stitching Jewels Designs. She came in for about an hour, hour and a half. We loved her. She is so nice. She's just as nice in the Zoom as she was in her videos. Um, we do have a discount code, and I have a link I can put in. The code is Shaleen30. It's good for any time, but it's only a one-time use. It is not just on one pattern. It's on your whole order. So if you want anything by Stitching Jewels Designs, put a bunch of stuff in your cart, and you get 30% off, or just one chart. But yes, that's what she gave us. And again, I'll have the link below and the code. And it's only good on her website, not on her Etsy store. So I will have that below. Um, so Saturday I worked, I worked on Stitch Rovia on the beach. It's a paper pattern, so I did not count stitches. And then I started a new start for the first time of the year, and that was Sunflower Stitches, Beauty and the Beast Snippet. And I put in 400, no, I started that on Friday. So Saturday night I worked on it. Okay. Saturday night, I worked on it, and I put in 534 stitches. I know, you guys. I'm reading my notes and trying to remember. So, Stitch Rovia. On the beach. And sunflower stitches. Beauty and the Beast. Five hundred and thirty four stitches. And that was it for Saturday. That's all I did, um, and of course, in Zoom. And then Sunday came around. Now, we did do um, flanners. Well, we did that in my Zoom. And we did it later than normal because I had a special guest come in. Stitching Jewels Designs. Um, I stitched on Lawn Dog Quinto Acuto. I do not have this as a PDF. I only have it as a paper chart. I did not count the stitches. And then I stitched on um, sunflower stitches. Beauty and the Beast. And I put in 381 stitches on that. I watched General Hospital from Friday. And I binged a whole bunch of um, YouTube videos. So I binged Creating with Sarah. And I'll have them linked below. Yorkshire Crafter, 
Yorkshire Crafters Julie. She comes into our Zooms. She reached a thousand subscribers. We were so happy for her, but her face was priceless when she found out. Becky's Madness for Crafting, Enchanting Stitching, Crisscross Stitch, Larry Reads, Jen's World of Stitches, Stitching Jewels, Midwest Craft Chat. She had, um, I think, melts. She talked about melts. Otherwise, she does planners. Okay, so that was over the weekend. Now, on to this week. Oh, I didn't write it down. Shit. Um, I did not write down how many stitches I put in the Haid Cat yesterday. Nope. I shut it down, never wrote it down. What the hell, you guys? It's not like me. I did, I forgot. I never wrote it down. I had around 400. I had around 400. That I do know. I had my craft and clean Zoom. And then after dinner, I sat in the recliner and watched TV. Because I need to get caught up. I need to finish the Vikings. So I had like four, I had four favorite characters on the show. One, of course, was Ragnar. He's been gone for a while. Then they killed off one of my other favorite characters a couple episodes ago. And they just killed off another one. I have one probably two favorite characters, probably two, come here, Peanut, you're not going to be allowed in here anymore, hold on, come on, get out of there, get out of there, hold on, I'm kicking her out of the room, okay, I'm back, so yeah, I watched the Vikings, it's season six, I watched episodes nine, 10, 11, and 12. There's 20 episodes all together on season 6, which is, again, the last season. And I'm debating if I want to go right to that, to the Vikings Valhalla. I was told it's not as good. And then Dylan's telling me I need to watch The Last Kingdom. So, I think that's the order I will watch them. My watch list is so long of TV shows. Some of them I watched, but I want to rewatch them, or it's been like, or it's shows from like the 70s that I haven't seen in many years. So there was that. Um, YouTube yesterday. I watched during my Craft and Clean Zoom, I watched Sandy Goofy Mama Stitches. The Steadfast Stitchers, that's Beth, she moved into her new house. Cinematic Stitches talked a little bit about StitchCon. Joanne the Eclectic Stitcher and Planning Annie. Planning Annie um, is a planner and she's been doing a lot of bullet journaling. And I've been watching... And I'm like, that is so much cheaper than a happy planner. But you can't take out and add pages. But I don't really take out and add pages. So I kind of like the idea of trying it. I have so many notebooks in this house. I thought, well, maybe I'll just play with it for this year for a month or two just to see if I like it. Because, you know, I'm constantly changing. I like change to a certain degree. And some changes I don't. But, um, yeah. Let's 
Today I need to watch yesterday's General Hospital. And I'm going to be listening to a book. Okay, so that is it as far as cross-stitching goes. I will show you the hay the cat. So I worked on this area here. Yeah, down to here. So I'll be down here and then back up here for today. But, yep, more of the cat is showing. I'm loving it. Then before I came in here, the mail came already. The mail was here at quarter to 11 this morning. Like, what? So, I will show you what I got. I ordered from 123 Stitch. Here's my receipt. I do like to keep my pieces of cardboard. Okay. So I got the new Halloween issue from Just Cross Stitch. Look at. Yes, that one will be my first start, and I'm going to do this as a buddy stitch with my friend Brian. So that will be the first one I'm doing. I will, um, I will do a flip through. <gasps> yeah, I keep finding other ones I want to stitch up. Look at all the trick or treats from Stony Creek. I love Stony Creek. I love their patterns. Yeah, they're... Mm. So I haven't gone through this, as you can tell, because I just pulled it out of the um, envelope. But that came in... I, so I have found with 123 Stitch, every time I order, it, when it gets sent out, it tells me I'm going to get it this day. I always get it the day before it says I'll get it. Always. But, yeah, I got that. Um, that's it as far as stitching. Are we ready for some book talk? Okay. If you are only here for the stitching, goodbye. What I, I will be stitching on the cat today. That's it. Okay, books. Now, you guys know I follow TikTok for all my book recommendations. From romance to thrillers to horror the dark romance to smutty books fantasy love it all I, I absolutely love all my books I do not have a favorite genre it it um I'm a mood reader so um usually after I've read a few like fantasy then I need a palette Psychological thrillers, I can only do one at a time. And then go on to like romance or, or rom-com or something. I cannot do a couple of psychological thrillers in a row. I just can't. It, those books get me all the time. So, on Book Talk, Book Talk, if you do hashtag or at Swagner Books, there's a checklist. Checklist. So what I did was I would hold down the picture that they were showing of the list. You hold it down and then clear display. And then it just has this. So then I screenshot it. And then edited it to take off the top and the bottom. And then I printed it. So there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 
16, 17, 18, 19. There's 20 lists. So they're all checklists. Some of them tell you who the author is. Some of them don't. They just tell you the title of the book. So I have Romanticy, which is the new checklist for this year. I have a Vampire Fantasy checklist. The Pirates and Mermaids Fantasy checklist. The Book Talk Diverse Fantasy. Diverse. Football Romance. Werewolf Checklist, Summer Romance, Young Adult Fantasy, Dark Academia, Ac Academia, Books That Make You Sob, Romance Checklist, Reverse Harem, Hockey Romance, Horror, Dragons Fantasy, Dystopian and Sci-Fi, Spicy Fantasy, Mystery Thriller, and Dark Romance, and Fantasy. So we have the new Fantasy, or yeah, the new Romantic. So those are all, and then it lists them. Like this one doesn't have the authors. But, so I made a TBR, and I'm going to change it up a little bit of how the reading order. So I will read the first thing that's on the Romanticy 2024 list, which is Five Broken Blades by Mike Corland. So I went on my Libby. I had to change some things on my Libby because I couldn't figure out why my San Jose library card wasn't working. So I emailed them and they emailed me back and said I no longer have an account with them because I don't live in California. So it must be after the pandemic, they're starting to crack down and you can only be in those states. But I did get Five Broken Blades as an audiobook. So I will be listening to that today. And then, so f for every list, I have TBR written down. So I think I'm going to change a little bit of that. I don't know. I need to change some of this. Anyways. Yeah. Anyways, I have that all figured out, and that's go this thing has gotten so heavy. Look at that. They are going to go in here under reading. But, yeah, that, that I can't lift anymore with this arm. I have a really bad shoulder, and I keep this on the back of the couch behind me so every time I have to reach and pull it down I have my shoulders killing me I am not even supposed to be reaching and doing that after dislocating the shoulder I was told no going behind and no throwing action like you're throwing a ball I'm not allowed to do that anymore so um, yeah This planner, once this year is over, um, I'm taking out the innards from like the 24 hours of cross stitch planner innards and um, I will use it for next year. I think I'm using it for next year. Otherwise, um, I my plan is to get a big horizontal for next year for everything so I can put some of what I do into that um, that's my goal I also like I said I've been watching Plan and Annie with a bullet journal 
and you only need to replace the bullet journal. It's good for like six months. I'm like, well, those are only like $8. I can afford that. I need to go get something to drink and I'll be right back because I'm not done talking to you guys. Okay, I am back. I got unsweetened iced tea. Yeah. So, yeah, we were talking about books. So, I have Kindle Unlimited. I have Audible. I have Chirp. I have Kobo books. I can't read them until I pay for it, I guess. But um, until I have a chance to get to those, I'm, I'll just keep adding to it until um, I can get to Kobo books. Um, I have my Kindle books. I have over 600 books on that. Plus all the books from NetGalley, from all the years that I've been doing NetGalley, I have all of those books yet. Plus I have a couple hundred physical books on my bookshelves to read so I you know and then I have a TikTok list plus these lists it's crazy you guys it's crazy with the amount of reading that I want to do and now that I'm back into reading and all this I'm not asking for as many arcs except unless it's from an author on TikTok they're independent a lot of them are independent authors which they call indie authors so, I, like, this list is romanticy. So, I looked up Five Broken Blades. There's only one book out so far. The next one comes out, um, because there is a new one coming out. Let's see. Why is every time... Okay, Fantastic Fiction, May, Portland. So, Four Ruined Realms will be the second book, and it comes out in January. This is an author, this is the first book by this author, is Five Broken Blades. I've been hearing really good things about it, so yeah. I went on yesterday, and it's a new book. It just came out in May. So it says there's a waiting list, so I clicked on, you know, to be put on hold, and yesterday afternoon it says it was available for me. Like, really? So I get to listen to that today. So since there's only one book, this is how I'm going to do it. Then I'm going to go and... Um, on my TBR pile, right, is that how I'm going to do it? I don't know. I think right now I'm not going to look at how I'm doing this. So when I'm done with Five Broken Blades, then I'm going to go and read an arc. And then I will go on, and only one arc, because it was only one book. And then I will go to the vampire checklist, and let's see how many books does this author have. So this is the Co Coven, the Coven. Oh, that's not bad. The uh, author is Harper. L Woods, Harper L Woods and the coven so there's only two books of the coven it's coven of bones and the cursed they both came out last year so i'll read two of those since i'll be reading two of those then i will read two arcs and then um after the two arcs i'll come to the pirates and mermaids and we have adrian young Adrian Young has the book Fable. That's the second book. So I want the first book, which is Saint. It is the world of the Nar Naros. 
Um, yeah, series. And there's five books. So I may wait on that. I think what I'm going to... I think I'm going to have to just wait on how I do this because I need to get all the arts done by the end of July, all of July's, and I'm still doing Throne of Glass. So I think this is going to be put on hold. I will do Five Broken Blades today, but um, I'm going to have to do the arcs. And like I said, I'm not asking for many arcs anymore. Um... So for July, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I have 10 arcs. August, I have 5. September, I have 5. October, 1. November, 1. Nothing for December, 1 for January. I really don't want to have more than like 2 from that galley. Because I want to get to all this. So, yeah, I'm going to have to rethink some of this, at least for July and August and September. I'm going to have to switch it up between um, the arcs and um, throwing the glass for now. Yeah. Okay, another new change. What do we got? 15 minutes left because Scott will be calling. I want to change things on my YouTube channel again. I know you guys are going again. Um, I sleep late. I am a night owl. And if I go to bed before 11 o'clock or even midnight, I'll wake up in the middle of the night. And then I can't fall back to sleep. So... Last night I went to bed at 9.30. I was awake at 3, wide awake. No, it was midnight. Yeah, because I'm like, midnight, really? Wide awake. Could not fall back to sleep. Went in the kitchen, had something to eat, just a small snack, a little, little something to drink, and watch TikTok videos. Um, so I don't, I didn't get up this morning until 10. And I had to make myself get up. And I had to make myself do this morning video. I, I'm not enjoying the morning videos anymore, you guys. Um, yeah. I just not. Also, my, subscri my subscribers count has gone way down. My views for each video has gone down. People are not leaving comments. Um, I am just not feeling anymore. I don't think people are watching like they were. They're probably, it's scale. I'm doing the same thing every morning, you know. We're doing birthdays. We're doing the national day, the word of the day, and a quote. I don't want to do those anymore. I don't. Um, I don't really want to do morning videos anymore. Am I sad about it? Just a little bit. It was part of me. But you know what? I think I've been doing this for two years. Two years you've been getting this content. And I think it's getting stale. Um, I know you guys love the word of the day. You love to hear the, the singing. You sing along with me. But I'm done. I'm done. Um, I will finish up this week, and I'm done with the morning videos. Um, I know, you're probably upset about it. I'm sorry. I was thinking of going back and doing Tea Time with Friday Reads. It won't have the community news, but I think I will talk about Friday Reads, what I read during the week, and what I plan on reading the following week. I think that's what I want to do. And then Mondays will be a floss tube every week. I stitch, um, I don't stitch on much. 
I stitched two days on the astrology cat, two days on the stocking. Um, weekends. I am not going to be doing my focus pieces that are in the newsletter. I'm spinning my wheel again. So, yeah, that's what I will do. And it'll be one focus piece for the whole weekend, except after dinner. I may switch it up. Um, just the cross-stitch weekends. That's where I will be pulling out something else to work on after dinner. Because I'm stitching all day from like 10 a.m. until 11 p.m. midnight. I'm going to have one that I stitch on after dinner. Um, I know this is probably going to upset some of you that look forward to my daily videos, but I'm done, you guys. I'm getting burned out. Um, and I already was going to take a break for a whole month coming up, but I'm like, you know what? I just... No. Now, that whole month that I was going to take a break, I... I'm still going to do then the Friday reads, Friday book talk. So it'll be tea time and Friday reads, and then Monday morning will be floss too. So I will still do those. I was going to take a break for the whole month. I think I'm still going to do two videos a week for that because I'm not doing the daily. I'm thinking. Um, I'm still taking a break from Zooms. Um, I'm not going into my Wednesday crafting Zooms during that month that I'm taking off. I will go in and make someone host. And um, then I won't be in there. I will still do my, of course, my cross-stitch weekends. Um, yeah. I need a break, you guys. I need a break. And I like taking the breaks during summer months. And, um, yeah. I'm not sad about taking and not doing morning videos anymore. I will finish them up this week, though. So starting next Monday, no more morning videos. I will do a... Um, Friday, I will do a Monday morning floss tube. Sometime during Monday will be a floss tube. Um, it might not be till after dinner. Depends on what time I get up. Because I do craft and clean Zoom on Mondays. And even those I won't be doing during my month off. I know, changes. Changes are good, people. Um, I'm sticking with my favorite YouTubers that I watch. So I don't watch as many anymore. Um, I just, yeah. That's what's going on with me. Lots of, lots of ideas. Um, I like the Friday... I, I used to do tea time with Friday Reads and um, Community News. Um, I stopped the coloring and the diamond painting. I stopped doing those news, so I just stopped doing that altogether. So since I'm not doing morning videos and everybody likes to know what's going on, what what I'm reading in that. I'm just going to do the Friday reads. And then, of course, Monday will be floss tube. Yeah. Let me know what you think. I know some of you are going to go, what? No. I know I'm going to get emails. I'm going to get messages from all of you. I'm sorry. I have to do what I want to do. And I know I do this channel for you guys, but 
If I'm not enjoying it, you're going to know that. So, um, it says Costco's closing all their stores all next week for some reason. I don't know. I didn't read it. Ugh, yeah, my allergies are kicking my butt. Um, yeah, so floss tube. I'll still do those. Um, and like I said, I'm going to do them weekly. They're going to be short because they're weekly. I will only have like maybe three things to show you that I worked on. You know, and maybe I'll talk about some floss tubers that I watched. I think we're going to go back to that. I just, that's what I need to do. I do. I need to make those kind of changes. Um, Friday Reads, you know, those will be short. Because I'm going to tell you what the description of the book is and what I thought about it. Um, maybe something that's going on, stuff your Kindle days, I'll let you know about that. So, because I said this was the reading part of my video, not everybody might still be watching this, so I am going to have to report this section again, repeat it, I mean, not tomorrow morning. But for those of you that stuck around, thank you. Thank you. And I will leave this magazine here so that I can um, do a flip through sometime today. Yeah. That is it for today, my peepers. I hope that um, the news is okay for you guys. And I will see you guys tomorrow morning. Love you guys. Bye.